Eating delicious food can make your day. Spaghetti bolognese is one of them, especially if it's cooked to perfection. I'll start by preparing the onion. I have one large and one medium-sized white onion, and I'll just finely chop it. Then the garlic. I'll be cooking 1.5 kilograms of meat today, so this is one whole medium ball of garlic. I don't know if you noticed, but garlic is one of the star ingredients in most dishes, and since I'm cooking one big pot today, one bulb is definitely needed. Then celery. I am having the inner parts of the stalks, and I have four to five stalks and finely chop it. In your case, if you're cooking less amount of meat, you can always adjust the ingredients. Then the carrots. I have four small to medium sized carrots, and I'll just grate it. This is very important in bolognese sauce making because it contributes to the natural sweetness of the sauce. Basically, this is it and it's time to cook. Add a small amount of olive oil in a pot, and once it's getting hot, put the onions in. Cook until translucent, that means it releases its full flavor already. About two to three minutes in medium-low heat. Then garlic in. Saute for another two to three minutes, or once the color of the garlic turns a little bit brown, that's when its full flavor is released as well. Then chop celery in. Saute for additional 2 to 3 minutes. Beautiful. Smells so good already. Then carrots in. Saute all together for another 2 to 3 minutes. Keep the same medium low heat. Then put all in one side to give space for the meat. Then put the meat in. Turn the heat to medium high at this point. The meat is cooking slowly and let's cook it until the color becomes brown. That's a good indication that the ground meat is cooked already. Okay, the meat is getting ready, then time to add salt and pepper. Start with one teaspoon of salt. And more pepper. I would say 1 to 2 tablespoons of pepper is good, but we can always add more later in the final tasting. This is only good as it keeps away the smell of the meat and it brings its fresh aroma in the food. Then add 2 tablespoons of oregano, 2 tablespoons of thyme. Again, adjust the spices depending on the amount of meat you cook. Add dried sage if you have. It also brings so much aroma in the sauce. Then, add red wine. I'm putting around 200 ml red wine, and you can use any brand, but if you have any good quality wine, the better. Then, add Worcestershire sauce for about 2 tablespoons. Then of course, the tomato sauce. I'm using 5 packs and each pack is 390 grams. With the amount of meat I have, I believe this is good enough, but in your case, add accordingly. Taste first if you need more. I would like to add more salt, so it's very important to give the right balance. Right amount of salt in food is one of the keys to a good taste. And additional pepper. So at this point, while the sauce is simmering, taste it according to your palate and add more spices if needed. Maybe more wine or Worcestershire sauce. It tastes good already. Really good. This can be eaten right away if you like, but for me, I'll simmer it first in a low heat to extract more flavor from the tomato sauce. About 30 minutes to 1 hour. So, it's ready. And the final tasting is needed. I would like to add 2 teaspoons of white sugar to balance the saltiness. I don't know if you noticed, when sweet and salty meats, there's a magic happens. Then on top of the pasta, and sprinkle with grated parmesan cheese. Enjoy while it's hot. 